In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some primitives uh, through the Create panel in Fusion 360. So once we've opened up a new or already opened up part file um, or model file, what we'll do is we'll go through to the Solid tab and under that uh, we'll click on the Create drop-down arrow. And at the bottom of here you can see I can create some primitives box, cylinder, sphere and torus, coil and pipe. So in today's one, today's video, we're going to take a look at a torus, coil, and pipe. So first on, let's go through to the torus. I select torus, and I'm going to select the work plane that I want to create my 2D sketch on. Okay, select the center of where my torus is going to be. Select the diameter of the circle, and there it goes and creates my torus for me. So now you'll see there the diameter of the torus is 100, and I can go and drag the blue arrow here and it will make it bigger or smaller as well as clicking on this arrow that's pointing up and make the diameter of the torus bigger or smaller or what I can do is I can go and change it via these values over here inner diameter, torus diameter, uh, the position of the torus so is it on the inside of the circle that I drew on the center or on the outside of the circle and then once again join cut intersect so our boolean operations as well as new body or new component so I can create either one of those. I'm going to create a new body as this is the first object that I'm creating in here and click on OK. The next one I want to take a look at is the coil. So with the coil, um, one thing about Fusion 360 that's great and actually any Autodesk uh, you know, sort of software is that when you put your curse on one of the commands it gives you a little tooltip. So for instance coil, create a solid coil, select a plane, then draw a circle to specify the major diameter of the coil finish defining the coil using the manipulators or dialog box which is what we're going to do now so selecting coil okay um, I've selected or inadvertently selected the uh, work plane over there so I'm just going to go press escape quickly let's go to the command click on coil again okay so there we go I then will select that um, work plane over there and over there I'm going to come out to the outside over here select my center select the how wide my coil is going to be and then it gives me a preview of the coil over there okay so what can we do over here so first things first we can check out the type okay well we will go through this just now so once again I can go and by using this little dial over here I can change the angle okay I can also grab this now I love this about Fusion 360 it's very very uh, visual you know sort of you can see some some grips and you're able then to go and grab it and then go and get some um, some you know some options out of it and then you can see I can make it bigger or smaller over there and obviously you know if anything wrong does happen it'll give you a little error in the bottom right hand corner over here okay so as I said we've got some other options you can have revolution and height so these are what you specify and you'll see there that this dialogue actually changes as you go through the different ones so you'll see the height and pitch if I go to revolution height, revolutions height, so I can say maybe that's four revolutions. Okay. The, it was it it was not able to build that um, immediately because with four revolutions and the and the, the and the pitch not being big enough, it will you know it's it's sort of it's coiling into itself. So that's why it's not it's giving error over here and it's failing failing to build that coil over there. So there we go. There's my coil. So you can see the revolution and pitch, so the revolution and pitch, okay, height and pitch, so it gives you a height and pitch, and then a spiral, which gives you a spiral that way. And you can see it's automatically cutting because it's going through another solid over here. Um, I can just go in there, say join, and it'll go and join like that, okay. So let's go back to, say, revolution and height, there it is over there. Now. One of the nice thing about this, um, the command is that the section we can change the section as well. So it's got a couple of different sections: a so circular, which is kind of what you know most springs are about. Then you've got square. Okay, so you'll see there. So square spring, triangular external, and triangular internal. Okay, so you can see there, internal and external so the flats are on the inside over here and you've also got the option inside so inside that initial circle that we drew 
on the center of the circle that we drew or on the outside of the circle that we drew. Section size, so you can make that bigger or smaller. Okay, so it's the size of that section over there. And then once again, operation is joined. So we're going to join to this torus that we've created over here. Or I can say new body, so it's a completely new body. Okay, so that's coil primitive. Click on OK and it's created for you over there. And just so that you can see, I've got my body 1 and my body 2. Then the last primitive we're going to take a look at is the pipe um, primitive. So with the pipe primitive, I've selected it, and you'll see there it's asking me to select a path. So we've got to first create the path that the pipe is going to run on. So let's go and create a 2D sketch. Select it, and then let's go and start creating our line. I'm just going to draw it out here somewhere. Over there, and then let's go up. So, because I've got my 3D sketch ticked over here in my sketch palette, I'm able to go and do 3D lines or 3D a 3D line um, using the 2D sketch option over here. Okay, so once that's done, we can go and finish sketch and go to create our primitive. So we go down over here, we can create a pipe. Okay. So it's not really a primi primitive. Primitive would be like a block or a cylinder. So it's, it's kind of like a automated, um, you know, sort of function like a helix. So path select, okay, chain selection or not chain selection. And what I can do is let's put chain selection back on here. Uh, section size ten. Okay, there we go. grabbing the wrong arrow there. Okay, let's make us 15. Okay, so there we go. So that's our um, our chain selection over there. You can see that I can grab it and make it bigger or smaller. And with this one over here, I can run it back along the sketch as well. So you'll see the distance is 0 0.907. And if I make it 0 0.5, okay, it's not it's having a bit of issues coming up over there. So 0 0.9. Oopsie, 0 0.9. Okay, so you can at least then go and move this back along the the um, the path that you have created over there. Okay, and there you can see I'm moving it back over there. Okay, so I was having a bit of issues just you know playing around with the distance over here, but you know when I did take and I dragged it back. You can see there, as moving my cursor along the appropriate path, I was able then to go and decrease the length of this pipe and see where it's actually going to end up. And once again, then you can see there, join, cut, intersect, new body or new components. And you have an additional option of making a hollow. So we're actually making this as a hollow pipe over here. And then you can get your section thickness, say two, and you've got your section thickness of two running through the pipe over there. So that is how we create these three objects. I call them primitives. I'm not really primitives, but more advanced than primitives. Torus, coil, and a pipe. Let's press OK over there. And thank you very much for it.